Good morning, family. So today is February 17th, and first I would like to apologize for posting the wrong video this morning. <laughs> so I'm re-recording this today. I'm in a different room in my house, as you can see. Um, and I just wanted to um, say I'm sorry. I did not mean to repost February 10th's video. And I apologize for this moving. It's hooked to the table I'm sitting at. So we're going to read out of Joyce Meyer's um, book today, Daily Devotions from the Psalms. And I'm going to be reading Unending Blessings from Psalm 21.6. Surely you have granted him unending blessings and made him glad with the joy of your presence. In Psalm 21, David declares how God has blessed the king, but I firmly believe we can take all these blessings for ourselves, so I will write this to you personally. God will grant you your heart's desire and not withhold the request of your lips. He will greet you with rich blessings and give you long life. He will bestow splendor and majesty on you and grant you unending blessings. Psalm 21, 2-6 as you trust in the Lord, you will not be shaken. You will defeat all your enemies, for the Lord will swallow them up in his wrath, and he will consume them. People may plot against you and devise wicked plans, but they will not succeed. Psalm 21, 7-11 God has made you more than a conqueror through Christ. Romans eight thirty seven, And to me, this means we can be sure that we will be victorious even before the battle begins. You do not have to live in fear because God is on your side. He is for you. So it doesn't matter who is against you because you will win in the end. Romans eight thirty one through 39. Remain strong in the faith and be faithful to the Lord and he will take care of anything that threatens you. You know, I promise you guys, this these blessings. I received this today. When I read this with Cordy this morning, I said, I, I received this in my heart because the Lord showed me this week, once again, a scripture out of first Corinthians. And it's that Jesus, that, that in, in Christ, all the promises of God are yes and amen. And when I read that, it was like a light bulb went off for me. And I said, when I come to God and make request for him to fulfill something that he promised me in the word, like all these promises that I read just now that were spoken over us today by Joyce, these are promises from God. And anything that God has said to us in his word is a promise from him toward his children. And when we go to him and make request regarding one of those promises, the answer is always yes and amen. Sometimes I know we always, you know, it, Christians, we tend to say, well, you know, God may say yes and he may say no and he may say wait. Well, what are you praying about? What are you asking of the Lord? Because if he promised it in his word, if it's part of his promise, it's yes. We had an answer this week. I haven't talked to you guys about this yet. It's Friday. I'm going to be recording our Mass Monday today. And you will be hearing the story probably in that because you know me. I tell you guys stories. But um, Courtney ended up having to resign from his job on Friday, a week ago today. And his boss had done him in so badly he could no longer work for the for the man. And so we are now going to be, you know, believing God for his promises. Well, one of, one of the variables in that promise was that the Lord is our provider. He provides all of our needs according to his riches and glory. And so we were asking him, we tithe and we pay offerings. You know, we give offerings to the house of the Lord and to ministries and we tithe to the house of God. And Malachi 3 tells us that when we tithe, when we bring the tithe to the storehouse, that we are to test him in this. 
and see if he does not pour out such a blessing from heaven that we cannot even contain it. It'll be overflowing. And so I said to him this week, Father God, that is a promise you made. And now my husband needs a new job. And he got it yesterday. He interviewed on Wednesday and he got the call yesterday saying that he had received the position. You know, the Lord is faithful. We didn't freak out. We didn't go into overload, you know. We made the choice, the decision, even before he got the call yesterday, that we were going to tithe this week, even though he has not made a check, and that we're going to be faithful to what we do and our worship and our praise. So when you're in the midst of this battle, whatever it is, remember God's promises. Look for the promises of God for your situation and remind God of your promises. He tells us in his word to remind him of his word. He wants us to seek. He wants us to seek those answers and he wants us to find. He's not holding out on us. They're right there in the word. I want to encourage you today that God is on your side. He is for you. He is not against you. And what man what man can hurt you when God is on your side? No one. He will take care of it. It may not be that moment that you pray, but you will see the victory and the outcome. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that we can rest in your love and that you care for us, that you do hear and answer our prayers, and that you do give us the desires of our heart. Father, we thank you because we know that your promises are yes and amen in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We love you, Father God, we give you all the praise and all the glory because you are worthy. Because only you are worthy. We will never stop praising you. We will never stop giving you the glory. In every situation. And at every moment of our lives. Help us to always put our faith and our hope and our trust in your mighty love. In your hand of compassion over your children. We love you, Father, and we praise you today. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for being with me, family, my sisters. I love you guys so much. And again, I'm sorry I put up the wrong video. I felt so bad. I hope you get to hear this one and receive blessings from it. I love you, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.